the hike, starting from Itayado Station, and we're gonna head to the trailhead by walking north up this Shoten Guy. At the end of the Shoten Guy, you take a left, and you should be able to see the mountain. Then you go to, I think it's called the Itayado Hachiman Shrine. Look at the flowers. Oh, that was funny. Just ran into some kids. Just ran into some kids back there. We got directions from them and spoke to them in English. That was pretty cute. Is it still there? Yeah, you can just barely see them. Thanks for the directions. Just on the beginning of the trail. You're not even on the trail yet. But it's pretty beautiful. This is a good time of year. Found the trail pretty effortlessly. And uh, it's actually not too intense. There's a lot of flat areas, kind of like this. And you got all kinds of views of everything around, all the greenery. Oh, it's pretty beautiful. Definitely recommend this hike. We're only like uh, 10 minutes in, five minutes in. And apparently this hike is three and a half hours. By the way, say konnichiwa to everybody you pass by. Konnichiwa. Nichiwa to them. Or you can blow their mind and say hello instead. That's a good trick to do. Alright, let's continue. Look at this. Oh, I just went up a bit of a big hill. But good view. They say on a clear day you can see as far as Osaka. So you can just barely see the ridge over there, and there's people on it. It's a bit of a dangerous section. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna make our way over there now. Wish us luck. Huzzah! All right, apparently there's a good view up here that they're just raving about. Oh dang! This is like some crazy. Oh my goodness! Oh man, it does not hold up on my phone at all, but this is so rad. Oh, it's really scary though, actually. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how we're getting over there. Yeah, I don't know either. We're kind of approaching the treacherous terrain. It's still a ways off in the distance there, but we're approaching it. Along this hike, watch your foot placement. Downhill's always supposed to be a little bit more dangerous than up here. Honestly, filming this whole thing is probably not the sharpest idea. Oh, goodness. Left or right? I would say left. Here we go. They've okay, missed the scary part. A lot of these kids are saying, Kuwa, kuwa, or Kuwa kata. Oh, much kuwa kata. Which means, oh, this is scary. Or like, that was really scary. Maybe this is going to be a challenge. We're on the scary part. Here I go. If I fall and die, I'll be good to go. Somebody can upload it to you. Oh my god! It's really like a deathly drop on either side, by the way. So I'm pretty dumb. This part is kind of scary too. <laughs> made it! Woo! This, uh, this section is kind of scary too. Unfortunately, I've got a bag from the convenience so Maybe I'll just put that in my mouth. We just descended that. It was pretty sweet. It's pretty precarious. Just about died several times. And now, to go up this. Wow, it's so Right after that precarious place, it starts to get a little more standard. So, no big deal. Ugh, we can handle this. On the descent now. Whoops. Oh man, that's scary. My toe just got caught in the bridge. I like to think this place has kind of a jungle book vibe. Pretty different vegetation than the place where we started. But I think at this point we've probably been hiking for. What did you say, two hours, Tom? We've been hiking now? 
Yeah, good two hours. They say this hike's supposed to be three or three and a half, but I feel like we're getting pretty close, so maybe it'll take us three. Um, you know, we're not old farts here, are we? I hope not. Anyways, catch you on the flip side. Legs are pretty shaky from that uh, Olympics right there, the Kobe Olympics, Suma Mountain Olympics. I guess we take the walking route. This is uh, very interesting. I think I've seen this place on some flyers or something, but apparently it's like a botanical garden. Huh. Let's walk up here. Maybe not. That is intense. This guy, apparently his name was Nakai. He was a sensei. And he could eat a hundred kinds of sushi. Colors? Marks? No, I'm not sure about that translation. But that garden there was really beautiful. We kind of got kicked out because it was closing. Alright, now we're gonna head down to the beach and kind of unwind. Man, my hair is cray. This is Suma Beach where we came and relaxed after the hike. It's basically the perfect place to come to after the hike. You can relax, watch the sunset, and chill. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe.